Welcome to Science for Schools. Today we're going to demonstrate resonance using this equipment called Barton's Pendulums. Now resonance, you should know, is when you've got two objects that will vibrate at the same natural frequency. That means that they can transfer energy between each other much, much easier than if they had a different natural frequency. So here I've got four pendulums on this side. I've got one pendulum over here, which is called my driving pendulum. So if I start swinging this one, and I leave those others alone, what you'll hopefully see is they're all swinging a little bit now. This third one here, though, is definitely swinging the most. It's getting the most energy from the driving pendulum. And why is that? Well, we can talk about the differences between these pendulums. They're all of different lengths. They're different distances away from the driving pendulum. But it's certainly not the longest one that gets the most effect because the fourth one then would have the most effect. It's not the shortest one that gets the most energy because that would mean that this one is swinging the most. It's not the closest ones or the farthest ones from the original pendulum that get the most effect. So what is the actual reason that this happens? Well, these two pendulums are about the same length. And if you study pendulums, you'll know that the period of motion of a pendulum depends on its length. And so if the period ends up being the same because they're the same length, then their natural frequency is also the same. So this one starts swinging means this one starts swinging with a lot of energy because the two are the same length, so they have the same natural frequency. And so it's not just a bit of vibration traveling down the string, it's actually resonance that's occurring. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.